Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Keda here, and you know you, and you build a great circuit like five 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 timer or another kind of flashing circuit. But you know to tune out the circuit properly, you'll sometimes needs to use and proper value of resistors into the circuit. So what you gonna do? You will put the value of resistors into the circuit and then run it the circuit. But uh, what you will end up with the lots of mess of resistors. So to solve this problem you can use this decade resistance box is basically a programmable resistors into which you can basically put any value and you can set the value of resistance you will don't have to use this mess again and you know you cannot use this resistors uh, since they are all mixed up and they will create only garbage into your lab but uh, with this resistance your lab is clean you will save some few money so let's take a look how we can build it okay to make your decade resistance box you will need this thumb wheel switch you can find these things on ebay so let's take a look at how thumb wheel switches work so thumb wheel switches has a uh, 10 terminals the middle one is a common terminal and on to the left side it is ninth and to the right it is zero terminal so what it will do basically it will connect the common terminal to the digit that you have pushed into so let's say it is now pushed on to the one so the common terminal is connected to the first number of pin and that's basically the working of this thumb wheel switches you can take a quick look how pins are arranged onto this thumb wheel switch okay guys so here is the circuit diagram that you are going to use to build this decade resistance box so here we are going to take a look at the one place of the decade here is the common terminal of your thumb wheel switch and uh, here is the 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on nine terminals to make 100 ohm part of this decade resistance box you are going to use the all 100 ohm resistors and what you gonna do connect the resistance in a such way that 100 ohm is connected between 0 and 1 another is between 1 and 2 and next one is between 2 and 3 and so on and let me show you how you can do this in the easiest way so here is the front view of your thumb wheel switch and the back view so what you gonna do here connect resistance between each of the terminal means 1 and 2 Two, 2 and 3 and then 3 and 4 and so on and you just keep on going and you will end up with thumb wheel switch looking like this and make sure that here connect resistance between 4 and 5 not to connect resistance between 4 and C right here common terminal you will left empty because uh, you are going to connect this terminal to your external circuit this is the, your output terminal the zero terminal of your thumb wheel switch is also the second terminal of your resistance so let's take a look at how we are going to do this so there is a common terminal and zero terminal right here as I connected another thumb wheel switch that I have made with another decade i just keep going going on here is the one mega ohm all the resistors and here are the 100 kilo ohm then 10 kilo ohm here and one kilo ohm on this and on to the top it is 100 ohms that's basically all about how you are going to connect it okay so once you made one decade of the resistors you will repeat same process on to each decade but what you gonna do is uh, replace value of resistance like in this decade i use 100 ohm you gonna use 1k in another decade then in the next decade you are going to use 10k and 100k and 1 mega ohm and the value goes on to increasing like that and you have to connect the common terminal of the previous decade to your output circuit and the zero terminal will go to the common terminal of your next decade and basically in this way you are going to connect this each decade in series with all the decades so the total resistance you end up with is basically the series resistance connection of this all resistance and your decade resistance box is ready to work okay guys so here we have our decade resistance box completed and as you can see 
first decade is 100 ohm this first one is 100 ohm then second one is 1k third one is 10k then 100k and 1 mega ohm so let's see as you can see now it is 100 ohm then increase it 200 ohms 300 ohms that is basically then uh, 200 ohms again 100 ohms then increase the next decade it is uh, now 1.2k and it works just fine I use 5% tolerance band resistors but uh, if you want really good accuracy for it then you can use 0.1% resistors and you will end up with good decade resistance box but it just works fine for normal operations you can see now we are reaching up to 1 mega ohms so it is let me show you the precise 1 mega ohms how it looks like 0 0.9704 mega ohms that basically close enough and here is 0 ohms you can build any decade resistance box that can go up to lowest and highest value as uh, whatever you want I built mine which goes up to 100 of ohms into the lowest range and mega ohm range ok guys so let me know what do you think about this project and tell me how much resistors that you have saved in the comment down below and thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one and goodbye